<laughs> Lads, lasses, people with glasses, and of course, all the worlds in between. My name is Hall Slash, and today I'm wanting to do the Living Legends five questions that were posted up by Tiger from Web Dog Radio. So, uh, you just might be asking yourselves, you know, if you're here because I'm using COD gameplay. Um, who, what's this, what am I going on about? Well, I'll be posting links to the documentary that Tiger made in the description down below. I really recommend going and checking it out if you're interested in paintball though, because it is great work and, you know, the guys spent a lot of time on it. And it is great insight into what it's like to be a scenario paintballer. And, um, yeah, it, it's great work. It, it's worth, it's worth a look. So anyway, right, I'm going to get on to the questions here and stop boring you. So, question number one. Who are you and why are you a legend? Well, second part of that, easy. I'm not a legend. I'm just an average paintballer. I like to go out there and have fun and have run around with me mates and shoot each other in the woods. So, um, who am I? Well, I've already introduced myself as Howl Slash, but most people in the paintball community around where I live <laughs> know as a Dexter. Um, I'm 24, and I'm from the northeast of England. Uh, and hopefully that should have answered that question. So, question number two. What kind of gear gear are you using? Um, I can't say I have a specific set of gear. Uh, I have different things I use depending on how I feel. Uh, sometimes I'll run pistols. Sometimes I'll play pump. Um, I play open class pump, stock class pump. Uh, I've got a couple of semi-automatics, uh, both electro and mechanical. Uh, auto mags, auto cockers, uh, e-tech, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I, mean, I don't really have, like I said, I don't really have a set set of gear that I use every single time I go out. It all just depends on how I feel at the time. I might want to go out there and, you know, just run around like an idiot, in which case I'll take my pistols. Or if I'm, you know, wanting to play a little bit more tactical, I might play a stock class. Or if I just want to go out there and lay in paint, I'll play with an electro. It just, like I said, depends on how I feel. So, uh, that should have answered that one. So, question number three. When and where was your first paintball game? My first ever paintball game was around about 2004, 2005. I would have been around about 15, maybe possibly 16. And, uh, yeah, that should be about right. And it was at Delta Force Cramlin, uh, that's Cramlin in the northeast of England, um, with the Army Cadet Force, and Northumberland Army Cadet Force, um, <laughs> and... That was X Company Guy Post Detachment. So, and it was it was fantastic. It was awesome. I don't really know what more I can say on that. Uh, number four. What do you think was the biggest innovation in paintball history? Um, I find that really difficult to answer. I've been thinking about this one for a while, and I couldn't. I can't give one solid answer. Uh, I would say it's between electronic guns. Even though I don't always agree with high rates of fire, I think, you know, having electronic boards and guns was, you know, it, it changed things. And high pressure air, because without high pressure air, we wouldn't have, <laughs> we wouldn't have, like, X mags and, well, half the guns wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't work properly now. I mean, CO2 kills guns when firing at high speeds. So anyway, right, uh, I hope that's answered that one. Question number five. Where would you like to see paintball in 20 years? And I think that's one of the simplest questions here. And that is, I would like to see it still being played. See, at the minute, paintball is getting a lot of stick. And, you know, people try to use paintball as scapegoats. Same as they try and use, you know, computer games as scapegoats. Saying that like, these things cause violence. And it's not true. It's just people trying to, you know, get out of it. But, yeah, like I said, I would like to see paintball still going in 20 years. And I would even more, I would like to see it, you know, as a registered sport, because at the minute it's not. But anyway, that's all just my opinion, and uh, I hope that, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.